Ahoy, ye mateys! Today I'm going to be spectating a PvP match for a tournament hosted by Pirate 101 Central. It's a 1v1 tournament, and the two people who are going to be versing each other are Quick Harry Abbott, Swashbuckler, and Stormy Quentin Verger, Witch Doctor. I know that I've been posting a bunch of videos that involve me playing PvP, but I thought it would be interesting to do like a video of what it's like to spectate a PvP match. As of right now, it's very difficult to actually follow what's going on if you just go into the spar chamber and randomly watch a match. So hopefully the live commentary that I'm doing while watching the match will help make it just a little bit more accessible if you are one of those people who enjoys watching matches in spar but are usually confused as to what's going on. Hope you enjoy this video! Okay, so for this round, Quick Harry Abbott is fighting Stormy Quentin Verger. Both of them are my friends actually, so that's why I am not uh, watching a streamed version of this event. I'm gonna try to be as impartial as possible. So Quick Harry Abbott is a swashbuckler and he is wearing a Veiler's armor, a revive, a fort, tide, extra heal, extra shield, blade storm, and relentless. A supercharge, fort, assassin, purge, assassin. So he has two extra assassins, one extra hide, uh, two forts, one revive, one veiler's armor, and a purge and an extra charging attack. And he is using a charging team, which is Fan, Goro, and Nozika. So uh, Quentin is playing Witch Doctor. And he does have the trees weapon, but for this tournament he's not allowed to use trees, so he is running the scorpion staff with the Beastmaster banner. And he has two armors, uh, Soul Shroud, two Jobu's Embrace, one Mojo, one extra Mojo Storm, so two Mojo Storms in total, two Moon Songs in total, one Fort. And his pet gives him an extra shield, extra heal, and also has sent three webs and sneaky sneaky which means that uh, if Harry hides and the pet is alive, the pet can detect any hidden units in a 3 square range. And also the pet has sneaky sneaky which means it can hide itself at the end of each turn. Now Quentin's team consists of Ratbeard, uh, a buccaneer who can first strike 3 so it can spot any hidden melee attacks. Bar can summon these smaller creatures, a, a hawk and another creature, and also has three long distance attacks uh, that can reduce accuracy and dodge. And Quentin is also using Exeter, who's the crown shop version of the privateer companion Emmett, with three special slowing uh, abilities. And another characteristic of Bar is that it has tied three, which means that below half health this companion um, is very powerful against swashbucklers. So let's see what Harry does. Okay, Harry is just slowly moving forwards. Um, and one of Bar's creatures just cast a group attack on them, so they are no longer at full health. Harry's health is 2876 uh, right now. Okay, what did Quentin just do? I think Quentin just cast a long distance attack. Okay, Harry is uh, moving forward, still staying together, and the slow has worn off. So um, Quentin used one of his slows, which has now worn off. I think what Harry is probably doing is um, waiting for Quentin's pet to spawn so that he can kill it before fogging because. Uh, Swashbucklers only have one group hide, which is the fog, and if that gets disrupted, then uh, it's very difficult for them to make a comeback from that. Although I have seen some Swashbucklers use the fog as a late game hide, that sometimes works out too. But I think for this charging team, it's best if Harry can pull off the fog combo. Okay, so Quentin just cast another long distance attack on Harry and used one of Exeter's uh, slows on Harry. And uh, Redbeard is using Triton Song, which decreases incoming melee attacks by 25%. Um, so now it's Harry's turn. Let's see what his health is at. 
Okay, so he casts a heal. How many heals does he have in total? Um, I think he only he has to revive from here, and a, a rose from his pet, and then a trained rose from the uh, privateer class. And I think he only has three heals. So, if uh, if Quentin manages to get his health down before he can uh, execute his attack plan, then Quentin is going to win this match. And Bar's uh, summons are continuing to chip uh, health away from Harry's team. Kayla, by the way, is also a friend of theirs. Oh, okay, so Quentin is moving his team into the corner. This means that uh, he can barricade if necessary, and the reason why he's putting Redbeard in front is that Redbeard has first strike 3. Yeah, Harry is waiting for the pet to spawn before he fogs. Oh, so he decided to just go for it and fog. Okay, um, is he gonna have- okay, he's not having Nozika charge in right away. Well, if the pet spawns now, that's gonna be a problem. Let's see. Okay, so Quentin has a couple of options here. He could barricade and block off um, Harry's team's access to his pirate. Or he could also um, summon scorpions or summon the skeletal uh, skeletal hoplites and just block their way. Okay, he's gonna go with the barricade. Now it's Harry's turn. If the scent pet spawns right now, <laughs> that would mess up Harry's plan. But yeah, I think the reason why he just decided to go ahead and fog is because he's running low on health and he only has two small heals left. And also Quentin as a witch doctor can limit his spell power, so yeah. Okay, Harry used a fort. Uh, use fan's critical buff. How many forts does Harry have? I think he only has like two, two forts and one armor. Okay. There is the pet! See? Big Libby, it just spawned right there and removed the hide from Goro. And from Nozika. Fan is still hidden. Okay, so Quentin used- <gasps> He used a Mojo Storm on Fan, and Fan is hidden but is almost dead because that Mojo Storm did quite a lot. But it does mean that Quentin- Quentin only has two Mojo Storms in total, I believe. Let me just make sure. Yep, so one from here, and one regular one. But yeah, Fan basically has to attack now because... Um, well, Fan has two powers that she hasn't used yet. One is the team agility buff. Wait, did she already use the team agility buff? Oh yeah, she did. Um, so she has her super hit. But she's gonna die, so I think she basically has to hit Redbeard. Um, okay, Harry went ahead and hit Redbeard. I think what Harry might be trying to do is um, use up Redbeard's first strikes so that Fan can get uh, so that Fan can hit with hidden. Okay, Goro is hitting the barricade. Yup, Goro is hitting the barricade. Oh no, he didn't manage to use up Redbeard's first strike, so Fan is hitting into. Uh, Fan is hitting without the double weapon power from the hidden. However, if she chains, okay, she didn't manage to chain, so Redbeard is alive. Uh, Harry just killed one of Bar's summons with, you know, first strike riposte. The reaction hits. 
Ragnar does have accuracy reduced right now from Harry's uh, charge that he used. He used this charge. Now what I'm going to guess Quentin is going to do is um, use one of Barr's weasel uh, dances. Uh, oh wow, okay, so Quentin is putting an absorb on Redbeard, which is a smart move because Redbeard gets to stay in tide that way. And he just used a knockback hit, which finished killing Fan. So things are not looking very good for Harry right now. He has lost a companion. Um, oh, okay, so he chose to purge. So that was kind of a risky move because it means uh, Harry, Harry's pirate is also exposed right now. But what he's trying to do is um, he sent Nozika in to kill Redbeard. Yeah, he, he lost. He lost this one. So um, because Nozika ran into Redbeard's repel borders and also, Nozika is not hidden, so Exeter was able to overwatch and grit on Nozika. So Nozika is stunned right now, and um, Raspberry is still alive. So I'm gonna give him some encouragement. Just keep trying until the end. Okay, so Quentin replaced the Absorb on Redbeard. And he used Redbeard's super hit on Nozika. So Nozika is gone. Okay, he got a reaction chain on Redbeard. First strike repost chain. So Redbeard uh, was Quentin's biggest defense against uh, hidden attacks, but now the problem is the pet is still alive. So Harry cannot safely hide right now. Quentin still has a bunch of tools, including more summons. Okay, so. I'm gonna guess, yep, he's using his second Mojo Storm on Harry, and he's using Exeter's, uh, probably a reduced damage hit on Goro. Hmm. I wonder why he hasn't used Bar's uh, long distance attacks yet. Maybe it's because. I don't know. Okay, so Harry is uh, hitting Bar right now. getting some repulse chains, but now Bar is in Tide, so Bar has higher accuracy and weapon power and dodge when he's in Tide. Okay, so Harry used Goro's Vicious Charge on Bar. Okay, successfully eliminated Bar. Things are looking uh, much better now for Harry. The pet is still alive, um, and is he shielded though is the problem, because his health is kind of low. And I believe earlier Quentin already spent a mourn song on Fan. So Quentin might have to shield or summon. Okay, he summoned the scorpions. He put uh, Exeter in front of him so that Harry can't get to him. So now Harry... Uh, has to be a little bit defensive here because if he uh, tries to kill Exeter, he risks dying. He's just gonna go for Exeter anyways. Yeah, I think he used like an assassin or something. Um, and just one shot Exeter. Now he's uh, bleed storming on the pet, on Big Libby. Okay, scorpion. Scorpions are moving in. However, 
As a swashbuckler, Harry has very high uh, dodge, so he should be able to survive. Let's see. Now, Quentin is saying I did as well as I could have hoped, and still lost. <laughs> I'm gonna ask him, Quentin, did you use any of Bar's weasel war dances? Oh, he only used one. Yeah, cause Bar died <laughs> pretty quickly. Oh, the pet is hidden again, that's annoying. Um... <laughs> oh, okay. Caleb was paying better attention than I was. Okay, so Quentin put up the banner, the beast banner. Um, there is one scorpion blocking Harry's access to Quentin right now. <laughs> um, uh, Harry chose to hide? I don't know, is my computer screen glitching or is the pet still there? Oh, Goro died to the scorpions. Oh, wait, I think I get it. Did Harry um, have Goro kill the... Oh, that's right, he used uh, Goro's group attack on the scorpions, and even though the ostrich, the pet, was hidden, um, the ostrich still took damage from that. Uh, okay, Caleb is rooting for Quentin. <laughs> I guess I'll root for Harry then. Okay, so Harry just put on a Valor's shield uh, that he trained from the Privateer trainer. Uh, Quentin summoned Skeletal Hoplite to block Harry's way. Let's see if the Skeletal Hoplite moves. Okay, it moved. So, uh, Harry's path is open right now. <laughs> Used to be the old know, days of Privateer Cancer. <laughs> What were the days of privateer cancer like? Yeah, so Quentin is hiding. Uh, I believe that's the walk in shadows that he trained from the swashbuckler trainer. Uh, however, Harry can still target Quentin with a poison, which he's- yeah, so he's gonna go with a poison. Because a poison is a- it targets an area, it doesn't target an individual. Oh wow, T Battle Zero used to last 10 turns. Crit buff was very strong. Okay, so apparently Privateer has gotten a nerf since then. Dang. Okay, so Quentin moved. This means that uh, Harry is now surrounded by a summons, so Harry is choosing to take down the beast banner. <laughs> yeah, lots of people have fought Quentin. Okay, because uh, Harry is hidden right now, the skeletal, the summons are confused and are just hitting the barricade. Uh, Quentin is choosing to surround himself with the summon, so Harry still can't get him. And it looks like Harry's hide might be running out soon. What's his hull got? Okay, 1306. What's Quentin's hull got? Okay, Harry put on an, an absorb. And then sells it to six one night. Now the reason Harry put on an absorb is that it helps him to stay uh, in tight with the stat advantages of being at half health, while it also increases his survivability. So that's why he did the absorb. Um, okay, Quentin is still taking damage from the poison. Okay, Quentin put on his only fort that he had from his room.
Okay, how do you use the hurl blades which restricts Quentin's movement? And he's getting some reaction chains on the scorpions. Okay, so Quentin just cast uh, one of those eyeball spells which reduces Harry's spell power. Uh, this is going to reduce the strength of Harry's poisons as well as his heals. So let's see, is Harry in danger of dying soon? Mm, not yet. Okay, Harry's hiding again. Quentin is in danger of dying soon. Let's check out Quentin's health. 1994. Still taking damage from the poison. Okay, he used a Jobu's Embrace, which can target Harry even though Harry is hidden because it's one of those area target spells. Okay, so Harry used, uh, I believe, his second fort. Okay, that's probably a trident song uh, that Quentin trained from the Buccaneer trainer because I don't see... Oh, it might also be the Kraken's Lament from the pet. Yeah, I see. So he reduced Harry's spell power so that Harry can't hurt him with poisons and uh, both Triton Song and Kraken's Lament are a weaker version of the fort, the Vanished Fortress. They block melee damage, but they don't block like poison damage. So that was a pretty smart combo by Quentin, defensive combo. Uh, Harry is just gonna go for the poison anyways, even though he has reduced spell power because I guess his reasoning is probably that you know damage is damage since um. Quentin doesn't have that many heals. Quentin does have like drains, um, more Jobu's spells, like Jobu's Kiss, Jobu's Embrace. And uh, Quentin also, okay, Quentin also has Soul Shroud. Yeah, this is gonna be a really close match. I could see it going either way right now. The only way Harry is winning, I think, is if he gets a really lucky chain on Quentin. And if he doesn't lose to the chip damage before that happens. Okay, Quentin is uh, using another Jobu's card on Harry. He's saying probably GG because, uh, Harry could still hit him with the increased weapon power from his hidden, and if he gets a chain, then Quentin is dead. Let's see. Okay, Quentin uh, interrupted with the Soul Shroud. Is Harry gonna get more chains? Nope. Okay, Quentin is still alive. Uh, Harry is getting some reaction hits on the scorpions. And he just did, got a blade storm on Quentin. He's getting some first strike and repost chains on the scorpions. Another scorpion coming for him. First strike. Okay, scorpion got in a hit. Uh, the other summons are too far away to be hurting Harry this turn, and Quentin's health is dropping dangerously low. So let's check out both of their health. Harry's at 1148. Uh, okay, Quentin was at 655, but he just healed. Yep, 1707. Okay, Harry is going for another 
Okay, the Scorpion just did cheap shot on Harry, and Harry killed it with a reaction hit, and now, uh, Harry put on a new poison on Quentin, and he's getting more reaction hits on the Scorpions. Okay, so, Caleb suggested Quentin to use uh, Soul Reader, but, um, Harry has a fort on, and Harry also has Witch Hunter, so that would not be a good move for Quentin right now. Uh, Harry is getting a chain on Quentin. Oh, Quentin survived. Okay. Is Quentin dead from the poison? Yeah, he's probably dead of the poison, so GG. I don't see a way for Quentin to come back from this. Uh, the reason why he did the Soul Reaver this turn is because Harry's uh, Witch Hunter already went off from the Soul Shroud, so yeah, that was a good move on Quentin's heart. If Quentin got a critical on that, then Harry would have uh, died, but GG, GG both. They both played really well. So I don't know if you were able to tell, but that was actually a really suspenseful match because uh, in the beginning, Harry was really falling behind when his fog combo was disrupted by the pet spawning and then Quentin played very defensively, uh, protecting Ratbeard with the absorbs and uh, after Ratbeard died, things started looking up for Harry. Harry's pet actually helped him finish killing uh, the ostrich. I missed that part when I was watching. Yeah, it was, it was a very suspenseful match, very well played on both sides. I hope that this video helped you guys understand a little bit of what goes on in a Buckler vs Witch matchup. Uh, one thing we do need to note is that Quentin was restricted by the special rules, so he could not use the trees, which is what most competitive Witch Doctors use in ranked. I think um, that unless Kingsile tones down the trees a little bit. Right now, they just critical too much. Like if you watched um, the video I did of my matches with Ivy, you will see just how much damage those trees did and how difficult it was for me to beat Ivy. Since I made that video, I have encountered Ivy a couple more times and I lost all of those matches. So trees are very overpowered. Um, that's why they are banned in central tournaments, but I think Quentin still put up a really good fight with the Scorpions, and it really was a pretty close match. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.